Teaching forms one of the three primary legs of a university, the other being research and meaningful community engagement. At the University of KwaZulu-Natal, we elected, I think, to recognize research and, and teaching and learning. Uh, every year, a number of candidates are submitted by the various faculties in the innovation of teaching and learning methods in the institution, but also as role models for other academics in the university in the way teaching is best practiced. And for this reason, this has become an important component of the university's culture. Uh, students or staff can nominate any member of the university community who teaches them for the award. Uh, we receive the nominations and then inform the uh, relevant staff member and then they are required to pr provide us with a very comprehensive and detailed teaching portfolio. When I received the call from Professor Vital that I had been awarded the Distinguished Teachers Award, I was at first shocked, <laughs> but then I was extremely ecstatic. It's a great honor to receive this award, um, especially since it's recognition of many years of hard work, of trying to improve one's teaching, of trying to implement curriculum reform, which at many times is very difficult because people don't like to change and you have to persuade your colleagues that maybe it's worthwhile to change the curriculum. Uh, attempts at trying new ways of teaching students. And uh, obviously, but that's all on top of trying to do one's best for the students all along in whatever one is doing. So it, was wonderful because it's a culmination of uh, many years of hard work in the teaching sphere. I, I care a lot about the students and that they should get a good education and I hope that comes out in my interaction with them and I think it comes through in the fact that I try to be well prepared, I'm organized, uh, I try to explain things well to them and I try to give them space so that they practice and that they learn what they're doing. And I'm not just always telling them uh, things. I try to persuade them to take part and that practice is important. Prof. Matinshi lets one think around her topic and uniquely follow through with the student, allowing you to get the results that you earn and walk with you through the project. Okay, then you need to tell them how you can do the work. Okay. I came from Sudan. My English language is very poor, and uh, and I speak very slowly. But uh, Prof. Matinji, she gives me high respect, and she ex uh, explained uh, things very slowly for me to understand. The university has been an enabling environment for me. Uh, to try out different things in the classroom as well as curriculum changes because it's you're, if you have a reasonable argument for doing something you're allowed to do it and try it out and I have a good relationship with my colleagues I get on well with them they know that I care about the students and that if I propose something, it's because I think it's going to work and I think it's for the best of the students. What makes Prof. Martinsi a great lecturer is um, her ability to teach and her ability to, uh, to lead you to answers. For example, where you have a certain problem, she leads you to those answers so that she can show you that you also smart, not only her, instead of showing off her own smartness. Yeah, so she has that nurturing thing about her where she is like a mother and she leads you to the right things without actually showing you the direction right there and saying, no, this is the only path. 
Yeah, that's what makes her a great lecturer. I'm Naina Amin and I am a senior lecturer in the School of Education which is based at, on the Edgewood campus. Uh, this is a vibrant campus in which we only have students who study in education. Uh, there are thousands of undergrads and a um, few hundreds of master students. In my present position as um, academic leader for research and higher degrees, there's a constant stream throughout the day uh, students and staff um, inquiring about research, about funding, about publishing, about books. Uh, some of them consult me about theory or methodology and so on. So it's quite a busy day which is interspersed with some meetings with uh, members of staff or cluster leaders or even the dean. Uh, it's also interspersed with uh, teaching, which I generally do in the afternoons. Murti is addressing is why you teach. Mm. Okay, in that now, way. you know you where you teach. In so, that way. You, you probably um, so it's um, it's quite a, a task. I also uh, supervise about twelve masters and PhD students and two postdoctorals. So my plate is pretty full. Chancellor, I have the honour to request you to confer on Laura Campbell the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Uh, often I have to carry a lot of work home and one of the key aspects that is expected of an academic at UKZN is research, which means that I uh, write during the night. I normally wake up at 2 in the morning and work until 5 in order to meet that demand. Uh, first of all, she knows the content of her staff and uh, she, she, she comes to, to every lecture well prepared. Uh, she's the one of the most uh, lectures that I salute in my life. Uh, she played a very crucial role in my life, you know, from uplifting me from, uh, in fact, I was from a working class family and I was not having even a, a background, you know, how to, I can become a great teacher, but she shows that uh, how can you uplift from someone who don't understand the teaching content, the education world, you know, and she take me from there to the highest level. Now I can stand in front of people and speak and teach and do everything. I have a great amount of respect for Dr. Amin because she's very motivating and I remember when I first got here, she was quite like a mentor, she was more like a mother to me because she was the first person, like lecturer that I actually spoke to and she was, she gave me motivation to work towards obtaining my degree. When I uh, initially came to know that I was nominated for the Distinguished Teachers Award, it was uh, in a sense uh, something that I felt good about, but immediately when it settled I thought, okay, so what work does this entail? What would I have to do? And my immediate uh, reaction was to turn it down because I thought I wonder what is now required of me. And when I spoke to the Dean, he told me, well, you've applied for promotion. There's nothing more you have to do. We have your portfolio, so I don't know why you're against the nomination. Why don't you just accept it? And so I accepted it. And in a way, it, um, it, it was an uncertain time because to be nominated uh, by your peers and students that you teach, um, is a great uh, honor. Dr. Naina Amin is a highly skilled and dedicated university teacher and supervisor, embodying all the qualities of a distinguished teacher. And as such, the University of KwaZulu-Natal is honored to recognize her with a Distinguished Teachers Award. I see my uh, work and uh, my approach and my practice as being very strongly influenced by post-structural thinking. Now post-structural thinking is the idea that we live in uncertain times and that everything we say and do is arbitrary in nature. And if I have to leave a legacy, it's to leave that idea in the minds of my colleagues and students that we have to work with uncertainty, that it, 
Things cannot be predicted. Uh, there's no certainty about anything. And if they can keep that in mind, they would be better prepared to work for what comes ahead. So I think uh, maybe that's what I would leave them with, that I was an unpredictable person. I think it's a challenge, a challenge that I'm up to. I think I've met the requirements for teaching and my next goal is really uh, to tackle the whole issue of research and publication. So that's my future goal. I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate the distinguished teachers uh, who are being recognized this year, uh, both at the graduation and at the special gala dinner. We wish them well into the future and we are very proud of their achievement uh, since it's, it demonstrates some of the very best teaching the university has to offer. I take this opportunity to congratulate them but I also take this opportunity to challenge all academics of the, of, of the university. I think to take lessons from these distinguished teachers so that we can have a cohort of distinguished teachers within the university as we progress over the years. This is an important culture and component of the University of KwaZulu-Natal that we should all support and drive energetically. Yeah.